Hey guys, it's Heather from the TEC at Ori Georgetown Technical College. And in this video, we are going to go back into our test three that we were working on in the previous video and import some questions into the question library. Now, if you remember to access this page, we were under assignments and quizzes. And then we're working with test three, so we want to click on the name of the quiz to get to the edit page, and then lay out questions. So our, our test three is empty. There's no questions in there. We want to go add some questions, so we will click add edit questions. And this is the test three's test bank. This area is separate from the question library. If you notice, it looks a lot like the question library, but there are some differences. You can see here that we are under test three, where in the question library it said question library here. So that gives you a quick reference to see where you are in the system. We want to create a random folder that we're then going to import questions into to randomize this test. You can also go ahead and create questions directly from this drop-down list. Um, just to show you an example of one, we'll create a true-false question first. So to create a new question, it gives you this page and you have some boxes here to select from. The first box is the title, which is optional, it lets you know that here. You can also set your points and difficulty of the questions here, but um, this is usually skipped over because you can set the points on the whole quiz once you have all the questions in there, so we, I like to leave this alone. What we do need to create is the question text. So um, for this question, we'll type in What is the first holiday of the year? Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're doing a true false question. So we'll say New Year's is the first holiday of the year. Need to make it a true false question. You can add an image to question um, individually, so if you have an image you want to ask a question about, you can do that here. I would also, um, if you're going to add images though, I like to add them by using this insert an image link here. And what that does is it pulls, you can pull question, excuse me, you can pull images from your course offerings files, which is your manage files area. and um, you can see I have one image there, so if I wanted to insert that image, I would select it. But you can also upload your pictures from your computer, and you can pull from a URL. I like using the insert image in the box better than I do the add a file because of um, what happens in the background of the system and then copying those questions from semester to semester. We found that this way, this method here, breaks the link to that image and we have to re-upload them versus putting them in the box by using the insert image, those links do not break because it's pulling from the manage files area. So just a quick tip there, if you're going to put an image in, I would use the insert an image from the editor box here. And then this description box is if you add an image, you can add a little description about the image. Um, so down here, since we're doing a true false question, it gives us two options, true and false. And the correct answer for this one is going to be true. So we want to put 100%. You can see the way it's looking for the percentage. So what percent is this answer correct? And it's going to be 100% correct. If you um, wanted to give them a little bit of credit for answering false, you could put in 25 or 50 or whatever there. So that's all there is to setting up a question. If we preview this question, you can see this is what it looks like for the student and this is what it looks like when you are grading it and you, the system marks that that answer is true. So let's save that question. 
And now we want to create a random section. If you remember in the question library, the only option we had was section. We didn't have random section. So now we're working with test three. We want to create a random section that we can then put questions into. And at the very least, you need a section name, and I always just name it random because it doesn't make a difference what you name it. The students aren't going to see it. Um, it's just going to be a folder to hold your questions to tell that test to make it random. Now, the reason that we want to put the questions in the question library first is because um, this question right here, I won't be able to move into that random folder. You can see here it's not listed. Um, the way that the system is set up, the only way to get questions in the random folder is to actually be inside of the folder and then import the questions from the question library. So not only can I not move the questions into that folder that are already in the test, I cannot create new questions inside of that folder either. So you, actually, you have to have them in the question library first. And you can see here a source collection. It is pulling from our question library. And if you want to import everything, you just check the little box there. And let me get this so you can see. And then click Save. And that's going to import all of those questions for me. And if you've set up a random folder, here's where you tell it how many questions you want to pull. So if you have a pool of 100 questions and you want to pull 50, you would type in 50 there. If you have a pool of 8 questions, like we do here, and I want to randomize all 8 questions, I just put in an 8 there. And then you can assign how many points <coughs> each one of those questions is going to be. And um, I'm going to pull 5 questions and make them worth 2 points each. That way it equals 10 for the total score. And once you have that done, you can click Done, and it will have all of your questions as, long, as well as your questions per attempt and then the points. You can also uh, delete questions here by clicking Delete. If you need to edit a question, you can click on the question's name and it brings up the edit box and this is a short answer question that you can see we've set up. Um, let me show you a multiple choice. This is what a multiple choice question looks like and the top part of it is pretty much the same for all of the questions. You put in your question text and then you can scroll down here to the bottom and the multiple choice questions actually have a different box for each answer so this would be like A, B, C, and D and then for the weight you just put which answer is the correct answer you want to put hundred percent for that weight and um, if you wanted to set up feedback you could do that here you can also randomize these options meaning that A might be B the next time or D or C so it'll randomize the question answers as well as the questions because it's in the random folders so once you have all of that set up you can click save and remember how we were editing questions in the question library and now it's saying okay this question is also in test one and in the question library do you want to change it in all of those places and we'll say yes and click save oh, we want to pull five questions and I didn't save that before that's why it jumped back and two points each so save that and then we'll click done so now you can see it took us back to our layout questions tab for test three. And um, here's a layout. It's a random, random questions. We're pulling five from eight. They're two points each for a total of ten points. And then we have our one question here that we created before we did the random folder that's worth one point. Um, we can make this question a bonus question. If we click on Add Edit Questions, and then click on uh, the checkbox next to the question, and click Edit Values. In this Edit Values page, we can choose that this question is going to be a bonus question to the quiz. So if they get it right, it counts, and if they don't, it doesn't count against them, and click Save. So now that we've marked that as a bonus question, let's go back and look at our layout questions tab. So you can see here now um, our total score is 10 because this one is a bonus question and that is shown here. Um, 
Um, the other thing that you can do from this page is you can tell it how many questions to place per page. So if you wanted to do one question per page, you could do that here. And then you could also prevent from moving backwards through pages. So if you have one question per page and then they have to answer it and go forward, they can't go back. That makes it a lot like um, certification exams or final certification pretty much certification exams that they might have to take in the future where they have to answer any, a question and then move forward. They cannot go back and change change their questions in the future. So, <clears throat> so you can set up your quiz to be really restricted, have random questions, um, and even bonus questions. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And look out for more videos coming from the TEC very soon. Bye.